Number two, this song was inspired by the Steelers' son. We've drawn or stolen pictures that represent an Elton John song. Okay? We will show you, each of you, for about 10 seconds, the picture. Okay. You mark down what it is. And we'll do that for 20 rounds. Okay? If, if you finish first or second, or tied, if there's a tie, with more than two, in here, in that sand to represent Vegas, we have hidden about 30 of these marbles. Marbles? Marbles, okay? okay. These translucent green marbles. Okay. You've hidden about 30 of them. You've got to find this one. <laughs> the number one single reaching the top of the chart in 1973. In 1973. You're marking it down, so I'm really hoping Amanda gets it right. Here. <laughs> we should do this every Friday. <laughs> That's right, I've got a degree. <laughs> <laughs> Put to good use. Put to good use. Yeah. This was originally written in 1973 in honor of Marilyn Monroe. It was also redone in 1997. A rewritten version as You're a tribute to writing. Diana Princess. Yeah, I know. So you said Marilyn Monroe. Boom. Yeah. <laughs> we had to give you one, right? We had to give you one. <laughs> Not written by Elton John, but sung by him in that opera. <laughs> oh. Number 11. Conceptual art. It was one of Elton's biggest hits in the 1980s, holding down the number two spot for four weeks on the adult contemporary charts and reaching number four on the Billboard Hot 100. Hide your answers. This is where we step it up. <laughs> this song was the first number one single in England for John, Elton John, topping the charts for six weeks in 1976. His first number one. My masking tape is coming your, out. My your, hair. Hair, your head is falling out. <laughs> yeah. uh, this song inspired a sudden increase in the popularity of the name for newborn girls in the United States. Another one you fought over. It spiked in 1986. Ironically, the name is almost exclusively a male name in its origin, in its country of origin. But it's spiked female names. Number 20, your final one. The lyrics in this song are about a prostitute in New York City and a man who wants to take the prostitute back to Jamaica. <laughs> Good food, not family, to say fun. That this young lady is a We're not saying that young lady is a prostitute. We are not. She's from Pasadena. know her. All right. We will now collect the sheets. Oh, 
Thank you.